Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shoki Wars. So, uh, we're going to keep grinding Central Falwick. Good luck if we can. I apologize, I did not fix my volume right before the live stream. So, even though the PC volume is correct, my speaker volume was incorrect. That should be fixed now. Sorry for the echo. Every live stream, there's a million details, and I get exactly one wrong every time. Without fail. Perhaps it's an achievement that I only get one thing wrong per live stream. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm just going to move my king left. This looks fun. I don't even get an effect for that one, so this is probably not right. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Shocker, I know, right? But. Okay, what's their plan? Also, why is my king where it is? Well, that's pretty spectacular, too. Um... Let's do this. Just bring all the memes together. Um, there's no left half mino effect. Okay, that would explain it then. Yeah, to me that... I mean, I either figured there was some nuance that caused this not to be recognized as left half mino despite obviously being such, or there just wasn't an effect for it. So, or possibly both, but... Um, all right, so since I've played Bear in the Hole, I've played my king in the corner. You could argue, hey, I've not completed the shape yet. You could argue that. Many will, but I'm going to get my silver over here, my gold over there. It's going to take three moves to get that done. It'll take another move to drop my rook back. I've got time because my opponent's not doing jack, so... I'm not so concerned about getting a perfect shape. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, this is fine. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, they've built a beautiful shape as well. And I guess kudos to them on that. Um, but I'm not alarmed. Because I've played a reasonable game here. Mm hmm. Yes, I'm like one tempo slow on building the castle, at least, but they have no attack, so it's all balanced. It's fine. Now that the rook's here, I'm kind of threatening to drop a bishop there and promote it, or take the rook, but yeah, I'll spend some moves actually building a real castle. Um, that loses a bishop? I guess you could speak to this and mention how, um, okay, they'll get something for the bishop, but this bishop's not safe here. Mm -hmm. 
Bishop's still not safe there. So I'm threatening a bishop drop here in a promotion and chomping all these pieces and, you know, eventually someday doing something about this bishop. But also, um, yeah, I can directly corral and win it. Um, what's my silver doing here? It's looking the Oh, my gold is hanging. I want to do something about that. Hmm. Sure. Okay. You can save your bishop. I've changed my mind. Nanafun. So, was this what they were hoping for? It doesn't seem to be that different from where we were not too long ago. I still have a bishop drop, lots of spaces, and this knight can't jump up here because there's a pawn in the way. Um, Ah, they saw that, they saw faster than I did what my own threats were. And they dealt with those threats. That's cool. Um, hmm. I mean, yes, I'm annoyed that this fork exists. Um, I don't think my displeasure goes beyond annoyance, however. So, okay. You sack to bishop. I'm offering my rook. You get my rook. That's an even exchange. That is a fork. Right, so if the rook doesn't move, it's trapped. And by a bishop drop here. Okay. My opponent traps their rook, but tries to win my bishop. Interesting. Um... Yeah, tactics are abound here. And they're not necessarily favoring me. All right. I defend my pawn. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Shoki Harbor, and everyone here. So, yep. Um, this is sharp stuff. Uh, what to do? If I push this to give my bishop somewhere to go, 
Uh, they might take here. No. All right. I mean, regardless, someday here I'm going to get a castle. And it'll be okay. Gofun. Hmm. Well, I'm too curious. So I'm going to pay some kind of price for being curious how this goes. Um, I might end up dropping a pawn here and retreating my bishop. I'm not sure. If knight takes knight, I can take the silver. And this is a-okay. Uh, here, I get a silver. I don't see anything wrong with that. So, let's see what I missed. Hmm. Oh, did I forget to... No, everything's there. I was just checking if my overlay had uh, my 81 Dojo badge on it so people could see I'm a swinging Rook player. And that maybe I've played this game before. Um... Yeah, this is weird. They're trying to attack. Oh, I see. This dragon hits both of these pieces. Um, so if we could get the dragon to move, then my pieces are free to move again. It's like red light, green light. Um... While the dragon's here, it's red light and I can't move my pieces. Now we got a green light. Yeah, he could take the gold and then take the silver. And that could be a very reasonable thing to do here. Because that brings him much closer to my castle. Honestly, I was much more concerned about that possibility than about this one. Um, I just didn't know what to do. Yeah, I think you're right. I think his taking my lance here uh, loses several moves, and now his silver sacrifice is kind of a waste. Um, plus, yeah, I finally built my shape. The one that earlier I was boasting that maybe I don't need to build. Well, in this game, I got lucky... But betting on getting lucky is not a good strategy. Um, all right. So we'll take one of those. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I guess just keep taking things. I don't see how to completely solidify my position, and I don't want to drop a silver out in no man's land. Although in this case that might be the right thing to do, but usually it isn't. Oh, what I should do is use my horse to defend my king while also attacking over here. That's a plan. It also allows me to maybe use more pawns in the future. Oh, I missed this. 
Or rather, I misread it. Um, this is the way I read it, is that I would take this, and I didn't see that. So that's, that is the miss. Um, that said, uh, even without a gold general, I can still try to hold this shape together. Hey, this is shogi moves. These are three move tactics. Now, I, th I thought they would take here twice, which doesn't make any sense, because the dragon was pointing there, not here. Uh, three move tactics, though. We're counting shogi moves. <laughs> Huge difference uh, in pedantry. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. This sucks. My gold is out in no man's land. Um, let's do this to try to cut the rook off. And just rely on the opponent doing grossly inefficient moves. So, that's the plan, is to beg. And expect to be rewarded for begging. Maybe if I put the horse out there, they'll forget about it. Um. It's not a good idea. Ippun. Are there any good ideas here? How bad's that idea? Let's find out. Right. I knew that. Um, Hmm. Why not? Let's try this. Oh, 26 seconds. Maybe that's an issue, too. Maybe I'm in time pressure. Uh...
Thanks for the game. Couldn't even find the mate in one. Oh well. That works too. One game down, two to go. Good luck. So, yeah, the lesson there, I think, um, build a castle. Build a good castle. Don't be so stubborn. Because, yeah, last game I was like, ah, I don't exactly have this shape, but I'm going to try it anyway. That doesn't work. Build good castles. That's the resolution. Sometimes it means you don't get to play the shape you wanted. Um, so, we just accept the reality for what it is. Was that really the lesson? I mean, there's probably some more profound lesson. But for me, I think that's the lesson. Um... There's probably other lessons, too, but my completely obnoxious behavior there uh, like, was rewarded. Oh, there's some proverb about when you've played Bishop Exchange, don't push the central pawn. I guess I've moved my center pawn. Maybe I shouldn't have done all this together. I mean, nobody's saying that you can only learn one thing per game. Um, but I think if we're trying to keep things simple, that's probably the simplest lesson we can learn from that. Um, yeah, don't push this here. That would be silly. All right, so wait, if I push this though, they drop a bishop here and no, I think I have every bishop drop just barely covered in this crazy mess. Um, I'm going to move the gold away from my king just to make things exciting. If I had another pawn, this would be a fun place to attack. Oh, in chess yesterday, I got to play the eight pawns attack again. It was exciting. It was also wildly unsound, but, um, you know... Um, yeah, this move doesn't do anything other than look cool. Ah, uh, they built a really strong shape. See, you remember that thing I was just saying about build a good castle? Good players do that. Um, my opponent's a good player. Uh, so, this could get quite difficult here. <laughs> I've blocked all of my pieces. Maybe this is fine. This is my target, trying to push this pawn without hanging everything. Hmm. <laughs> Um, they're clearly trying to push this pawn. I'm not exactly equipped to stop that. So... Hmm... Yeah, I'm gonna move my knight. It's the beginner move, because this is undefended. So there's no retreat here anymore. 
Ähm. Hm. Interesting. I can do that too. Okay. Um. So in this, in this timing, I can step away. So, yeah. I had a bishop drop here, didn't I? No, I don't. Just kidding. Um... We could repeat that tactic. I think they want their bishop to join this somehow. I just don't see how that happens. Although they did get this pawn in hand, so they could attack my knight's head directly. Hmm. What a mess. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Um, what does that do? What does that do? It blocks my knight. Okay. This could be interesting. So a silver... I mean, they could take here multiple times. We could see how this all pans out. Um, this looks kind of interesting. Everything is hanging everywhere. I could run from this... Or I could try to fight it. If I try to fight it, Rook takes, and yeah, I don't end up the better for trying. Um, okay, here we go. The die is cast. Um, they have a knight. They have all sorts of stuff here. It's fine. This is fine. Sure, we'll take a knight. I thought this was hanging. It's not hanging. It's kind of an important detail. So... I guess we retreat. Unless I can come up with something really clever here. Eh, let's try this. Retreating's no fun. But they promoted. Gofun. They saw my idea. All right. Um, all right, we'll retreat. If dragon checks here, maybe I... I don't know. Hmm, how stubborn am I? Oh, if I pin my piece, they don't have a general yet. They do have a bishop. I could win my rook. That's fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear, but fear itself. Um... Do I block this?
Let's block it. Why not? Oh, because that just gives away a piece. Okay. Yeah, I'm just a bit blind today. Hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you don't mind. Uh, let's just keep running. Yeah. I know how tactics work sometimes. Alright, so we're down like two knights, a gold, and some other pieces. Um, but I have a castle. I haven't lost that yet. Just my pride. <laughs> uh, the bishop's trapped and isn't going anywhere. Um, I could drop a pawn here someday. That's like the one thing I can do. Or I could drop it here. <laughs> Alright. Um... There's nothing I can do to expedite my attack, so we'll just take the... That is check. Um... Oh. I can't block with something other than a bishop, so the bishop is going to be the blocking piece here. Maybe I want to get my gold this direction, so that my king is somewhere further to run, and so the, maybe this holds up for one more turn. The downside is once their dragon gets here... Um, well, I'm sorry, they could sack a rook here to take this, and I basically have no defense. Um, let's check. Let's take it. There is no defense here anywhere. Um, I guess I could have tried running the king, but I don't. I'm just pretty fatalistic here. Um, Alright, my king has nowhere to run. Let's try to scare the dragon away. Mate in one. Can we scare the dragon? Or are they just going to enjoy this as they should? As is their right. Yeah, thanks for the game. Two losses in a row. Alright, have I learned anything? I'm not sure. Thanks. Yeah. Good luck. There is one pattern that I've noticed, which is if I spend multiple hours working on a free software project in a language I'm unfamiliar with. If I do that for like multiple hours and then I play shogi, um, my shogi tends to suck right after I've done this tremendous software, like stuff with the language I'm unfamiliar with. So I think my deduction there is that really if I want to do my best at this game, um, it helps to do the software stuff uh, the previous day. Oh man, it'd be nice to drop something right there. It'd be nice. Uh, okay. That's kind of cool. Um... All right, so I built a really nice shape there. Here, are we going to see Pawn Up as being another really cool move? How many cool moves are we going to see this game? All right, they're not that bloodthirsty. Okay, I guess this is what I've invited. Um, interesting.
I mean, maybe I should have played Pawn Drop 5-5 five five to prevent some of that. Maybe. Okay. Where are you going? What's your point? What's your plan? Um, I have two pawns. Feels like I should have something here. Okay, first, this silver is not going to move anywhere next to my king. That's priority one, is that we're going to protect this square so that silver is constrained. Um, two. Yeah, I don't know. I have other ideas, but none of them seem safe. I guess we're just going to transition to Silver Crown. Like, this bishop's... I further blocked my bishop that might have been able to use this square. So... Yeah. I'm playing a lot of odd moves. So I defend my king's head. Oh, really? Okay, I'll take it. Sure, why not? I think they missed that I had a bishop here. Um, pretty sure that was missed. Nanafun. Attacking from the castle is unwise. Uh, but since I've started, kind of have to finish what I started. So that's here we go. I'm pushing on the knight. Gonna get myself a knight. Not because I need the knight, but because this is just such a fierce attacking piece, and it needs to be dealt with. We're going to, again, kick this silver. Oh. Okay. Um, sure. I guess that's fine. So I'll take this. And then we'll do this fork. So I get a horse in the middle of the board. They got my rook. It is a bit scary for one turn. Windows wants to update something. Hmm. Let's do the update. Why not? Ah, I see. They use the rook to defend. I've never seen it quite that way before, but I guess that's fine. Um, then we'll hit the rook again. And then we'll hit... Oh, never mind. Hitting doesn't work there. It's not an option. Um, so, hit the silver. And try to expel this entire attacking force before it completely overwhelms me. If this knight weren't here, they could take this pawn. 
But since the knight's in the way, the silver has to... Well, it sacrifices itself, sure. Our opponent is full of surprises. Mm -hmm. A pawn does an excellent job constraining a bishop. Pawns are kind of meant to block bishops. Just, it seems in general, they're just such excellent blocking pieces. Um, I guess I have to take that. That is a fork. Alright, I'll deal with your fork by making some threats of my own. And trying to defend my king. Um... Oh, if the bishop moves, I have a pawn drop right in front of their rook. That's a coincidence. But also, where could the bishop possibly move? That's kind of awkward. Gofun. Okay, I remove the rook from this attack, and it was supporting this knight, so they might sack here. Uh, they don't. This point is actually rather soft here. Um, I'm not sure what I do to protect this point from a gold drop. I'm not sure. Oh, I can defend that. There we go. The square is defended. Alright, should we load a proverb just for fun? What's our next proverb? Drop the lances at a distance. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I think they want this file back. I guess... I don't know if I have to give them it. They have three pawns in hand. I could drop a pawn here to block the rook, and I could drop it. Oh, never mind. Um, I guess I take the knight before I start taking it all. No, the pawn's free. The knight's also free. What am I talking about? That's a free knight. They'll drop a pawn here, and then they'll drop something there. I could have foreseen this and should have foreseen this. Oh well. Here we are. Yeah, a pawn here. I don't... I'm not able to retreat this way. Um, okay. I have two pawns, so the first one goes there, and if the rook takes, the second can go here. Um, so I've run out of pawns. Um, on the other hand, I've removed their threats. My cowardly play has paid off. And I have a pawn again. They might move this gold up. They don't. Um, Alright, so that's another, effectively a gold. It's still a pawn, but I can control a lot of squares with not so many pieces. If I had a silver after they retreated, I would drop the silver here. I have a bishop 
Maybe I'll drop the bishop and sack it here, but that seems so unwise. Um, or rather unnecessary is a better word for it. All right, do they move the rook back up? I admit just like one second ago I saw this knight drop and get all excited about it. Uh, okay. I'll defend my king. It's another cowardly move, but with the time, with the clock ticking, I'm, I guess, amenable to playing cowardly moves. Um... Hmm. Sure, I'll take it. I'm annoyed that they get... Actually, they don't have this drop here. I thought they did. They don't. They're trying very hard to stir up an attack from nothing. I'm trying very hard not to give them anything. The more pieces I exchange, the more dangerous this gets for me. There's a saying that you put your rook at the opponent's camp, and um, yeah, you'd prefer to have your bishop or promoted bishop in your own camp. Um, so I cleared this file so I could move the dragon up the board, so I have a stronger attack. Um, to do that, however, it's it seems to me that I've made some mistakes. Thanks for the game. Yeah, I would throw in the towel, but I don't hold it against opponents who wouldn't. But we're here to play the games and see how they go after all. So, three games down. There we go. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.